Thursday. It is the last day of February, which is amazing um, because that means we have a new start of the month and there's nothing more exciting than that. I am going to go to a networking event um, and it's kind of a, well, it's really fun. And here's why, um, because it's a networking group that's being rolled out uh, here local, locally and I get to participate with incredible business uh, leaders and professionals here in Sonoma County and we are together going to um, just learn about how we can better lead and uh, better lead business professionals and my focus is going to be or my group's focus is going to be on leading women. I think we're going to welcome men because we can't exclude the boys, uh, nor do we want to, but it's going to be uh, focused on uh, women um, efforts and, and things that women really are curious about in business and in leadership. So I'm stoked about that. And then we are creating social media content for uh, internally for the agency and then all kinds of other brands. I think we have three or four um, brands with their various branches uh, that we're representing at this time, uh, which for us is a lot because we're not a marketing agency, we're a branding agency. And so taking on marketing clients is just extra bonus. It's sort of like the cherry on top or the sprinkles on top of the cupcake. It's not something we do a lot of. So, you know, having, having this docket is pretty, is pretty extensive for us. Uh, so we're going to create social media content for them. And then tonight I'm going to, uh, a, um, showcase of some sort. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I'm not really familiar with the wine industry lingo, but it's a, uh, a winery, a family of, of, of uh, with several wineries who are uh, showcasing their wine. Uh, and then the last bit is that uh, I am really looking at how I can manage my Tada list. So <clears throat> you all know that I have this book and every month uh, I get a new book and it's really just a composition book in a, in a sort of a cover that I got on Etsy. Um, so I get a new book every month and this month it just kind of hit me that I, I have too much in this book uh, and I'm going to manage my to list a little bit differently. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to give each, each client or each project its own um, page for the day so that I, uh, or, or half page because I can fold the page in half. So I can actually manage the content and keep my mind focused on what each, what each client does need and how I can best support them. Because uh, when I first started this system, we had like two or three clients at a time. And now we have way more than that, which is exciting. But I want to learn how to better juggle the demands that clients have because they're the most important uh, part to this agency. Um, second only to how we manage ourselves internally. So I noticed that I've been kind of hitting the wall a bit more often than I felt comfortable with uh, or, or want to. And so I want to address that in myself and in as a leader in this agency, because if I, if I hit the wall and if then, then my team does, and then we're just kind of like disintegrating and that's not necessary. So we're gonna man. We're gonna start with managing tasks, and 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 if you follow me, you know that I look at tasks as sort of the, the thing that comes right before action, but the task is connected to the goal, and the goal is connected to the vision. So if your tasks and your actions break down, that's a surefire way of knowing that your vision and and your goals are completely out of whack. So. Yours truly figured that out. Uh, it only took me all of February, so woo woo. Uh, but we're going to fix it because we have tools and strength and skills, and we've learned things as entrepreneurs and business professionals to fix this and to address it and to try again. Yeah, I
Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're driving. It is cold and rainy, and I'm over it uh, because this is Northern California, and it should be warm and cozy, uh, as in like, I don't know, 84 degrees. That'd be awesome. But uh, as you may well have noticed, there was one additional character moseying around uh, my uh, home and my office. And that was my mom. She was visiting from Germany. She gave me about uh, four and a half minutes of notice. And then she uh, she came and came over like she was in a town next door. But uh, she's now back home. And that means that we are attempting to get back into our rhythm, which is, a we, we do a lot in, a, in any given week. Um, a lot of variety, not just because there's all kinds of clients that we're serving, but also because I have a high value of change and variety in my business. So today, um, we are going to be, uh, we're traveling, we're, we're driving to a town that is nearby in another county in Napa, and we are going to do a little bit of exploration uh, for uh, a client, and we're going to do a little bit of just sort of, what's the word? It's always hard for me to say. Reconnaissance? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, we're going to uh, just discover the area a bit more and see what's what's up around there. Probably grab a bite to eat, uh, talk about uh, the clients that are currently on the docket. And it is the middle of the week. It's a Wednesday work flourish. We usually reserve this kind of uh, exploration for the weekend, but uh, it's been a really interesting couple of weeks. Uh, of course, the change with my mom visiting and um, the, the weather has been really tough for people. Clients have been shifting and have been uh, readjusting their priorities. So that meant that we have to pivot. Um, and it's a really nice reset for us today to get out there, um, do a little bit of exploring, do a little bit of discovery, um, talk about the things that are coming up in the brand. And uh, you may have noticed, and if you haven't, I want to encourage you to go and check out the Instagram, follow us on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. I say us because even though it's me, it's an agency, there's a team of people that are working on this, uh, on this stuff. Nothing I do is really on my own. Uh, sometimes that's a really uh, tricky thing because I feel like I I'm never on my own, which is great because I'm a, I'm an extrovert and I get rejuvenated by people. Um, go to Instagram and uh, check out our grid. We're trying something different. We're trying to show you what a mood board might look like or a brand board might look like that we're working off of for clients. Um, it's really tricky to, when you are a client, to take your vision from your imagination and from the things that you're visioning, that you're dreaming about for yourself and put them into uh, reality. And so imagine having to do that for clients and I'm not in their head, which is a good thing. Um, but we use mood boards and vision boards to kind of create uh, a picture of what their vision might be. And then we work on it together. And so that is what the Instagram um, feed is, or, or the page is kind of turning into that grid. So I want to encourage you to go look at it and interact with it because that's why we're doing that. Not just because we like pretty things, which is also true. All right. There's so many things happening and I just learned Mercury is in retrograde, which means zero to me, but that's also a thing. Um, so lots is going on, you guys brace yourselves. Um, but in all seriousness, um, I don't know if you are familiar with the season of Lent. I don't, I, I am, uh, and it's something that is in my spiritual practice. I don't necessarily um, give anything up for Lent, not this year anyway, and rarely actually have. But this year for Lent, which is 40 days before Easter, uh, it starts today, March 6th. Um, what I've been focusing on, what I want to focus on for the next 40 days is, is a intentional practice around gratitude and affirmation. So be great, grateful and affirming. Um, that's what I'm thinking about. So I have a, 
I, I use Evernote. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Evernote, but I use that pro, that uh, platform quite a bit. And I have an Evernote folder file. Uh, it's essentially like a Word document on your computer. Um, and I did take, pick up a new one every day and I write down things that I'm grateful for and things that I want to affirm. Um, so that's my, that's going to be what I'm going to be doing for the next 40, 40 days. So I don't know if it fits into thankful Thursday, but I have noticed that, uh, with change, with growth, with, um, a big vision can come a sort of weight where, or anxiousness. And I'm already super prone to anxiety. And one of the things that I have learned helped me with my anxiety is a, um, my exercise and nutrition, um, B, my engagement with other people, so connecting with my friends, my family, my inner circle, and three uh, is the, the gratitude and affirmation. So those are the three things that I, I know I can do that no matter what is going on in my day, I can, I can tap into those three pieces um, that are so important to me in my life. So gratitude and affirmation for me then looks like noticing what is what is what is beautiful like being able to be on this drive is I'm super grateful for it because in order for me to be able to do this there's a number of things that had to happen um, that are that are just grace that are just good that are just you know for for me and for my for my people and I'm grateful for that um, and then affirming that things that are, uh, so affirmation I think is about speaking to what is true in your life, right? So sometimes when I feel anxious, I can say things like, I am, um, I am capable, you know, or I am not alone, or um, I can do this because I'm remembering the things that I've done in, in the past. So that kind of rhythm of gratitude and affirmation is what I think is really, really important for me. And I think, I believe it's important for all of us um, to practice. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Um, one more thing about that Word document or that document on Evernote that I love so much is that it allows you to put, uh, put in a picture. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll snap a picture of something that I feel just I'm I'm grateful for or that is just beautiful to me in that moment and I can upload it and my hope is that I have that I begin to create like a file of things that are that are speaking to me about gratitude and affirmation and so if I'm ever stuck in a place I can at least go back and look at what was true on March 14th so I hope that makes sense but I'm really looking forward to it um, for the next 40 days. So you can ask me about it uh, as, as the next 40 days unfold because I would love to tell you about it. That's it. That's that. Mm -hmm.